Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Mali and Shelly. We are so glad that uh, for everybody that's tuning in. Um, just a quick thumbs up from everybody. Can you hear us clearly? Can you see us clearly? Perfect. perfect. <laughs> okay, we have uh, Richard behind the cameras going. <laughs> 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 We're actually looking for everybody in the, in the office. But um, welcome and thank you for tuning in. Um, it's going to be a really nice packed um, show and um, we really hope that we're going to make things simple and add some value to all the workshops. And um, we ha always have fun showing you what we have within the range of liquid molly. So I hope you can enjoy it. And just some house rules, if I can call it house rules. Um, we are... We have put a little bit of a promotion out, so if you are watching and you are from a retail store, so any of the employees, managers, staff of the retail store, please put in the comment line um, the store. The so let's, name. for an example, yeah. Midas X and or Goldbach and, Goldbach and Y, um, and, and this the, the store with the highest amount of people that have actually tuned in. Live viewers. Yeah, would everybody would get a? 500 Rand voucher. So if you have 20 staff, every single one will have a 500 Rand voucher to spend mm -hmm. on our fan shop. Mm -hmm. And then if you're from a workshop, just mention the workshop name. And some of the products that we are going to be mentioning, uh, we will be sending every single workshop that mentioned their name. Uh, we will send a ProLine goodie bag to that workshop. So make sure that you mention all of that. Another thing, so Shelly is one of our te technicians, technical support. And then we have Tim Barney, also better known as Bunny. <laughs> and um, <laughs> they are also, uh, Philo is going to share their email addresses on our on the comments line. Comment so section, if yeah. there's anything that we're going to mention, anything that you're not sure of, anything you want to ask, then please make sure you just look into the comment lines and find the email addresses. It's also available on our website links so that you can get in contact with them if you need any help and any technical support. So let's get the show going. Um, so ProLine, Shelly, um, what, what, is, what does our ProLine range really mean? Sure, Mel. So ProLine was a development from Licky Molly um, in order to combat uh, more problem-solve uh, solutions. Um, what it does is that it's more concentrated in certain aspects. Um, where we have our maintenance products, but uh, these are specially developed for workshops and professional um, technicians. Um, so if they have a problem they're struggling with immediately, um, these can provide you those results that you, that you seek. Okay, stunning. So, so if you're not sure, you'll see and um, there is liquid molly and there's always a pro line below it. Mm. So if you feel like a pro <laughs> or you really think that you want to do something, there are two different aspects. We're going to have people that are tuning in mm. that are from workshops and we have people that are tuning in that are really fanatic about their car. So this is for, for, for both, for everyone actually. So we're going to make sure that you know at the end of the show of where to go if you want to find workshops that actually um, have these ProLine services that they do in their workshops and we can refer them to you. But also to be able to know that if you get to a workshop, you as a consumer or a client that absolutely love your car, that you know that you can, um, if they are making use of the ProLine range, that they have the professional range that just makes things much easier for the workshop itself and at the same time also adds value and a lot of concentration on cleaning the vehicle itself. Yep. All right, so uh, let's start. Um, we are going to start with with the with the jet clean machine, mm. and um, before we get to that, in our previous show, the additives one, and also the spray, if we may, mm. we were focusing on additives and do additives really work. So there is a maintenance aspect. So when we drive our cars, whether it's diesel, mm. which is in our red, red caps, caps, or blue, which is in our petrol, these are the two additives that you would use to maintain. So if you want, if you have always been healthy, if you always take care of yourself, you just have to make sure that you maintain your weight. But if you get to a point that maybe you're a little bit overweight and you've eaten a lot of things that you weren't <laughs> supposed to, then y you have to have a proper detox. Yes, yeah. So uh, we want to start by showing you a proper de detox of your vehicle. So when you're going to get to a workshop, these are the kind of cleaning processes that we would, ha would recommend to make sure that your vehicle is actually properly detoxed. So Shadi, you want to start? Yes, perfect Mel. So uh, the importance of any vehicle, as we understand, is there are three aspects to a vehicle. Um, one is the oxygen, the other one is the fuel, and the other one is spark. Um, so let's start by one aspect of the vehicle self, um, as we, uh, we generally explain it with regards to the, the, body of the, uh, the human body as well, um, in order to breathe. So we're going to start with reviewing 
these two products. Uh, we'll probably do them together as well, um, because the one is a throttle valve cleaner used for gasoline type vehicles, and the other so one. So in South Africa, that's petrol. Petrol. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. And uh, the other one is the intake system cleaner, which is for diesel. All right. So once again, pro line range. Um, so um, let's let's start with the, pro uh, the the petrol side. So for those that are watching that just loves their car and not 100% sure what a throttle body actually is. Yeah, yeah. So. The air is important. If you're not going to have air in the vehicle, I mean, if you actually do, are not able to breathe, you will um, you will die. So with a vehicle <laughs> as well, you need that. You have to get rid of the uh, the dirty air, and, and new air has to come into the vehicle. But here's just a little bit, um, just to show you what a throttle body looks like. So you'll see this little section here at the bottom has a flap in it. And uh, this is how you regulate it. So that's opening of the vehicle. That's based on your uh, your rim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, so if, if you look at the throttle body, um, uh, you won't be able to see close by now, but normally with a lot of air or, or if there's a lot of dirty air, it has a contamination on the inside and it actually blocks it from opening. So what happens is you don't have that circulation of air because it actually blocks it up on the inside because of all the dirt that, gets that, that blocks it so that it can't open up. So now you use the throttle bot body cleaner and what's nice about this product is its application. So you don't have to dismantle the throttle body. You can actually just make sure that you have the piping system on. It is designed to be able to make sure that it sprays to the side. So as it goes into the throttle body, it's going to spray exactly there where you want it to spray. I'm not going to spray now because it's been will drip <laughs> all over, but it's so so easy to clean because you don't have to disconnect the throttle body. You could just use this piping, get to the throttle body, it sprays it on the contaminated areas, um, and uh, you will be able to clean it. So that's the throttle body cleaner for your petrol side. So let's move to the to the <laughs> diesel side. Yeah, so Mel, as you know, diesel, um, the type of vehicle, the compression vehicles, they generally have a tendency to create a lot of deposits, especially on the intake system, um, because of the EGR, so the recirculation of the dirty, the dirty um, uh, uh, emissions uh, gets recirculated back into this, the intake system. And uh, yeah, I must say this is an extremely pro uh, uh, wonderful product to use, um, because it removes all the residues and deposits that actually accumulate within the TPS, um, so the throttle position sensor where the intake is. So Shelly, just explain to me, so when a car's um, air intake system is very clogged up, what is the effect on the car? So uh, ultimately the first thing you're going to see is uh, irregular idling, so engine idling, um, especially when start-up, because uh, that is one of the, pr the predominant uh, symptoms that it shows. Um, as so it's well almost as like I I'm cl closing your mouth closing and, my mouth and I can't breathe. Uh, yeah, yeah, so that's me suffocating, trying to, trying to revive myself. Um, so that is actually exactly uh, how the engine operates as well, um, with no oxygen present. And then the, the other is also going to be your performance and your fuel efficiency. Um, you're really going to see a drastic uh, impact in that. So we want to quickly show you an example. So what happens if we can't really have air coming in and out um, through our mouth as what we're supposed to? So we have marshmallows. <laughs> Richard <laughs> behind the cameras wanted to know if he's going to have some. So we're going to see how many Shelly can actually pack into his mouth. Um, so, oh, they smell wonderful. So there oh, we go. <laughs> <laughs> so Shelly, please pack that mouth of yours so that there's no, come, now see there's space for more. <laughs> uh, I think there's yeah. space for another. Is that it? <laughs> okay, so Shelly is now mm. totally... So if I close his nose, <laughs> very soon he's going to be passing out. But to be able mm. to show you, so if I do this and I say, Shelly, try and blow out this... Oh, yeah, you still have it. I see there's space for another <laughs> one. <laughs> but the air coming in and coming out is not as what it's supposed to be. And your vehicle needs that air. So as what Shelly just mentioned, if there's not the airflow as, uh, as optimized as it needs to be, you have that bad idling, fuel consumption, performance is not the same. So just like a human needs that circulation of clean air going in, dirty uh, air going out, you also need that for your vehicle. And then with the throttle valve cleaner and the air intake system cleaner, you'll do exactly that. So there's a lot of questions uh, we get asked um, if this is actually for EGR as well, Mel. And uh, as you know, the, the EGR is quite difficult to access, especially to remove and clean it. So this is a simple solution uh, that you actually have the EGR still in a vehicle present, and you can use this um, intake system cleaner to, to remove the deposits build up. Yeah, so I, I know in, on certain vehicles it takes up to four hours to get to the EGR valve. Now you just have the piping system, spray it on, leave it for a whole lot of minutes, and it is going to be able to clean it properly. But now, 
we want to make sure, and we have that very intense cleaning for your fueling system. So we have a, a, a machine that uh, a, a lot of our partners and workshops actually have. And if you ha are a workshop and you're interested in this machine, please get in contact with us. But it's called our Jet Clean Machine. Now the Jet Clean Machine, to, to explain how it works, uh, it, it actually, we have all our additives that you mix with the fuel, and uh, as you drive, it actually cleans the system, and that's for maintenance. Yes. But if maybe you've gone across the border and you've done um, some exploration, or and you have you they've put fuel in your car that maybe had a lot of paraffin and were very dirty, and you want to really have a proper flush, or you have bought a car, or you have never cleaned your fueling system, and you really want to clean it very very intense, then our recommendation is our Jet Clean machine. So here on the left hand side, if Richard can just turn so that we can show you, um, is our Jet Clean machine. Um, and this machine is so amazing because what it does is you take the intake and the out of the fuel, you actually um, totally disconnect that, and the vehicle will run on the jet clean machine only. So if it's petrol, it will run on the um, uh, jet clean petrol uh, fluid, and if it's diesel, it will have the diesel fluid. That will then be added, and that is what the vehicle will actually be running on. So now we're totally disconnecting the fuel. You don't have a dilution of the additive. All you have now is the machine that's connected to the vehicle totally switches off the, the, the fuel supply and runs on the cleaning fluids only. That takes, depending on the fuel consumption of the vehicle, sometimes 45 minutes to, to 50, sometimes to an hour, but afterwards you know that the engine is properly cleaned because nothing was in that engine for 45 minutes to an hour except the cleaning fluids. Disconnecting everything then and putting it back as normal, have your vehicle with a proper, proper fueling uh, detox. So if you want your car to have a proper detox, really have uh, the fueling system cleaned in one of our strongest cleaning methods, then we recommend a cleaning of your engine with a jet clean machine. So you can either find out um, from us what the, the partners we have that have the jet clean machine in their workshop, and as I just mentioned, if you're interested in getting a demo on this machine in your workshop, please get in contact with us on the, our Facebook comment or otherwise on our technical support. So I must be very honest, Mel, this machine is really amazing and the reason I love it so much is it does not only offer the fueling side but also the air intake side. So as we explained with the throttle valve cleaner, uh, you can do both services simultaneous um, and it saves you all the labor cost that is included in that. And uh, that is also attached in our car performance plan, so we haven't touched on that yet. But uh, there's a car performance plan that's delivered by, uh, by Liquid Molly uh, in order to give you an aspect of what cleaning uh, solutions we have and uh, what is the running cost. So what is your actual profit margins you can make on that as a workshop. Um, so it's really, really intense and uh, it's, it's really nice to see as well. I know if, if I go to a, to, a, to a workshop or to a dealership, I want to make sure that my car is taken care of. And the car performance plan that Shadi just mentioned is two aspects. You as the consumer, you as the owner of the car can go to a workshop and know that they can actually do everything. If you need your aircon to be cleaned, if you need your fueling system to be cleaned, if you want your engine serviced, if you want underbody and a lot of the things you're going to be, be touching on, um, it is actually going to have the op opportunity for you to leave your car and have everything done. For the workshop, it has this massive benefit that they have their floor space and they can actually make sure when a customer comes in, they can serve them in all their needs because they have the space. And I mean, there's nothing better for me than if I take my car in for a service to know that I have to don't have to take it to seven different people mm -hmm. to have different requirements done. I can take it to one dealership and they're going to take care of everything. Yeah. And uh, I think the biggest focus, especially on the fuel side, is uh, we all know how expensive injectors are to replace. Um, so this is a really intense cleaning for injector self um, in order to revive that condition where the injector was, to remove the posits so you don't have to replace it or recondition them. We actually, just now yes. remembering, <laughs> we, ha we have our, um, our own consolation yeah. Volkswagen, yeah, truck, yeah, Volkswagen truck. And they actually did a whole test and told us that um, we have to replace the injectors. So like anything, we always said, okay, great, let's first see if it's not dirty yes. and totally clean and very um, uh, intensely clean the fueling system. So that's what Tim Barney and Shadi then did. And 
Yeah, amazing results. It's uh <laughs> so it was great for us to get the feedback, but it was then really great for us to be able to see if we can solve it with our own equipment. Mm. So if you do have a problem with your feeling system, our um, suggestion would be get to a dealership or get in contact with us that actually has the jet lean machine to first see if the feeling system is not just dirty. So in our pro line range, we have so many different products. We're going to not touch on all of them, but we're going to touch on some so that you can see what is available in the range. So the next product that I know that Shelly is going to touch on is there are our direct injection. So can you share a little bit? I know it's one of our new products. Mm. What is what is the properties and why would you use it? Perfect. So uh, this is our new direct injection additive. Um, it is additive developed. So to explain, is a phenomenon known in the in downsizing of engines. So if you think way back, uh, you used to have all these V8s, you know, those roaring engines. V12s. And, and uh, say it pushes 300 kilowatts. And it was amazing for back then because the bodies were also ro robust. But nowadays, uh, manufacturers are challenged with the, d with the downsizing of engines. So which means I have a 1.5 or 2 liter engine that has to produce the same amount of power. Now, this, now with this challenge becomes a phenomenon known as LSPI, low speed pre-ignition. So low speed pre-ignition is... Uh, Short, short term, it's, uh, it's where the, where the pre-combustion chamber combusts uh, w without the actual spark plug igniting. And that is at least a detonation and uh, knocking. So this is a development from Licky Molly in order to uh, mitigate the LSPI phenomena. Um, how this actually works is it has a PEA-based um, additive package inside. And uh, this is the most intense cleaning agent that you can use for the internal combustion engine, so the cleanness of the cylinder itself. Uh, really, really amazing product. And uh, we use it on our own vehicles as well. So always stunning for me to be able to think that there's all these new technologies that it takes. S engines go smaller, it produces the same amount of power, but with that sometimes comes a, a couple of hiccups and then Liquid Molly is very quick to be able to find a solution for that. So this is the solution then uh, for the direct injection and uh, make sure, and how often would you use this? So Mal, this is recommended every 5,000 5, kilometers um, so that the additive package actually remains inside the engine for 5,000 after the fuel actually gets in contact with the surfaces is start washing away the dispersant. Oh wow, okay, so every 5,000 kilometers and this is enough then for a full tank? Yes. Awesome. Um, okay, so, so the product that I want to quickly just touch on as well is um, the Proline Radiator External Cleaner. So we have showed, if you've, if you've gone on the, the Proline range um, and you've seen when we had the sprays and when we had the additives, on the additives we spoke about the Radiator Flush. But the Radiator Flush cleans on the inside. So a lot of the times we're driving around where it's very dusty, or I know there's a lot of areas where there's... Um, uh, 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 iron ore on the mines. Iron ore, uh, mm. coal, and those are quite sticky kind of elements that actually then blocks the, air uh, the, the radiator from the front. Now you think you're very clever, you get home, you have a high pressure spray, and then you just spray it, and it damages all those all the little, little veins yes, and yeah. wings on, this on the front, and it actually blocks it even more. So... Proline has a solution, so this is an application that you will then spray on the outside of the radiator, leave it for a couple of minutes, and it will allow you to just gently rinse it off so that all that dirt that sometimes feels so sticky can actually be, be removed without high pressure and without damaging the radiator from the outside at all. So that's our radiator um, external cleaner. So, uh, Shelly, I know you're going to cover um, the, the glow plugs. Yes. So first of all, to tell everybody <laughs> that maybe does not know what a glow plug is, what is a glow plug? <laughs> so generally in the petrol vehicles, you have spark plugs. Uh, that is what ignites the fuel and the, 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 the compressed air. Um, but uh, in diesels, you don't have such, uh, because of the compression ratio is much higher in a diesel. Um, you have a glow plug in the morning when you start your vehicle, just to heat the combustion chamber so it gets up to temperature. Um, now, as we know with diesel, there's a lot of the process has created, uh, especially with the injectors and glow plugs. So you see there's a, a, a carbon actually built up um, and in order to remove these injectors and glow plugs, uh, sometimes you have to hang it on a machine overnight because they build up corrosion inside the co combustion chamber and uh, has a, uh, have also the tendency to break down or to actually br sh break off. Um, so Lucky Molly has developed a solution that's an extreme uh, cleaning solvent uh, which is used for glow plug. So it's called glow plug and dismantling aid. And uh, this actually resinificates re the carbon, the soot molecules as well. So it starts breaking them down into smaller particles and uh, it makes your job of removing those injectors and glow plugs much easier, uh, especially where the cor there is corrosion pr present as well. I hope, I hope the uh, whole idea of pro line range actually now comes to light because everything is that professional way 
of dealing with problems or making sure that what you have to, the, the service or the serving of the clients or in the workshop can just be done so much easier. So um, I know now you have to try and break it off or hang it like you've mentioned, but now the customer, you have to remove that glow plug mm -hmm. and by um, uh, applying uh, the pro line, you can actually then make sure that you can get that out without any long-term waiting or a process that is going to uh, damage anything that yes. you can't have. And uh, especially on workshop self, you know, their customer base is quite loyal. So a lot of times they retain customers for 20, 30 years. Um, knowing that is that major, which means you're going to continuously work on that engine. And uh, to, to try and solve this problem from using every time, we also developed a, we call it an injector and glow plug grease. So this is what you uh, would apply. It's a little paste that you apply on the glow plug and injector before uh, assembling it back into the engine again. To make sure the next time you, you use that engine or work on that engine, it's uh, so much easier to remove because it has extremely powerful corrosion protection. Okay, so if I understand it right, this will be if, to if, remove? It, if the, the nonsense is already there. Yes. Yeah. And this is the one to prevent. To it. prevent it. All right, awesome. So um, the, next, the, the product on the, on the ProLine range, two of them that I quickly want to mention is our maintenance spray white. So we have mentioned it in the spray, if we may, and also covered some of our ProLine range when we had the Ceratic, the ceramic spray. But just to be able to recap, all the Pro-Line sprays that, uh, that um, you can find um, in your Goldbachen and in your retail stores, um, they, are, they look like this. The reason for the packaging is you can either then spray with a wide angle, you can either then spray with a very specific angle, and the absolute, my favorite property of this, of this packaging is that you can spray upside, upside down. down. So, and what I love about spraying upside down is I can do my yoga, and I've mentioned it before, my <laughs> downward dog, and service my bicycle and my car at the same time. I mean, multitasking. Multitasking. Yeah. I mean, women are really good with that, so now we have a can that can make that possible. So the maintenance spray white is a very, very um, white grease. And um, or it's also mentioned uh, a, a lot of people call it a white, white grease, grease. Yeah. Um, and it's got a very very creamy kind of texture. And uh, the places where you would apply this is where you would need a, a white grease, but also in your d door hinges, um, everywhere where you want to protect. And I know you get a, a product called a glue, s as, no, a, a grease stick, where they or a door stick. There's different names for it. There's a little piece of grease that they actually stick into the door and then they open and close and open and close and open and close <laughs> the door and you have these little grease elements that stick out and when you come and collect your car and you have the pants that you like the dress that you like and you get into the car you've got some of those grease elements Stains that's going to welcome you. you all the way into <laughs> the car so if and and i absolutely hate that so what's nice about the maintenance spray white is now you can apply it really nicely in the door um, customers can actually see that it's been serviced it is very professional um, that the white grease protects uh, the door hinges very very well and you're not going to have those sticky grease pieces that's actually going to welcome you into your car when you pick up your vehicle so a great alternative um, and i mean a, a can like this will last quite some time to be able to make sure that you do that maintenance. So, so Mel, I know uh, with regards to our customer base and uh, enthusiasts, there's a lot of performance guys out there. And uh, the, biggest, the biggest aspect for them is the first thing I do when I tune my car is uh, upgrade my turbo. Now, with this, uh, there's a phenomenon that people also know that okay, if, I ch if I change my turbo, there's initial wear that actually builds up on this turbo. And I know you're going to elaborate now on the, the, the additive or the product we developed for this. So if you're going to upgrade your turbo and you're t using whatever workshop, or if you're a workshop and you do a lot of work on turbos, make sure you get the product called Turbo Loop. So this is exactly for that um, application that you have at the turbo. And you want to make sure that's not there's no th wear that's going to happen before the oil and all the other um, lubrication actually gets to the turbo. So this is the lubrication you would add and apply to the turbo. It has a MOS2. Um, a percentage in it as well, so it prevents that a, a huge amount of wear on that turbo, so that you can make sure the turbo is going to last much longer as well. So does it seem as a pre-loop then? Eh? Yeah, pre-loop. Perfect, perfect. We loop this before, before the we actually install the actually turbo. Before we install <laughs> it, and then before anything else is going to happen, is going to start. So you have that protection, um, and you don't have to worry um, when the turbo has been installed. Perfect. So uh, I know in product, pr the ProLine range as well, we have an amazing product uh, that we developed. Uh, so Mal, you, you, you know what a DPF is? 
You know what? I know what a DPF is, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I can tell you that I have been, even today, I mean, uh, uh, DPFs have been, so diesel particle filter system have actually been uh, installed in vehicles from 2002. Mm. And... Even in 2008, I mean up to today, if I refer to a DPF, I have people that look at me like, is that something I can eat? Is that something <laughs> I can drink? Or is that, uh, what, what exactly is that? Is, is that the disease I have? So um, the DPF, um, it, it, it is, if, if you really do some research about the development and what the DPF actually does for the environment, uh, I think it's a really, really amazing um, development on the car itself but with that like we've mentioned before with the smaller engines uh, there comes a couple of hiccups when that is in the vehicle because of the fueling conditions the driving style so shall we give people a little bit of an idea of, of what dpf um the dpf in the car actually does and then what do we have to prevent any failures in a dpf perfect mel so uh, you've got most of it um, the dpf is a development so it's a filter that's actually on the exhaust system and uh, this helps to combat and reduce the the uh, the products so products of combustion uh, which is your nos and uh, all those kind of uh, harmful gases for environmental pollution um, but with this the filter um, there are two factors that a filter actually uh, re reduces one being soot, so soot is from incomplete combustion of the engine that actually accumulates within this filter. And uh, as you drive, uh, the filter should regenerate itself uh, because of the catalytic converter that's installed in order to increase the exhaust temperature. Now, uh, as we know that uh, majority of urban travelers, so if you, your mommy quickly driving to fetch your kid from school and you drive uh, probably to the office in two kilometers, um, that vehicle does not heat up enough. So you might have a problem with your DPF. Uh, which you can actually is indication of your diagnostic as well. But uh, yeah, so what happens is this DPF starts clogging up and uh, that result in uh, a big expense, uh, depending on what is the solutions you have available to clean that. Okay, so, 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 I mean, I think, I th I think of an, another situation where, where people would really be in a driving condition where the DPF would clog up and that would be your delivery vehicles. Because you're taking stock, you're in traffic most of the time, you're in town doing all the different shows. If you have a fleet of vehicles, um, and you have to do a lot of deliveries. It's never on the open road to really get to the proper engine temperatures and actually making sure that that engine can be cleaned. So is it right to say that the DPF, like you've had the marshmallows mm -hmm. in your mouth before, this is now on the backside? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to now give a visual uh, idea <laughs> what that would look like. I'm not demonstrating it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we went so hard on this one. <laughs> Bad beams and everything. So. If the air can't get out of the vehicle, that's why it goes into limp mode and eventually um, you won't be able to, to, to travel anymore. And uh, what is the average cost of, cost of a DPF if you have to replace it? Sure, Mel. So if it's completely clocked, um, it generates a back pressure and with that comes a cost. So uh, if you look at a, a normal 1.2 TSI VW, yeah, you're looking at 40,000 Rand to replace a DPF. <laughs> and that is not something uh, that's, that's just money lay laying around that you can just repair um, for something you don't see the benefit of. Um, but uh, th this is a really amazing product we developed. So uh, we, as we mentioned previously in the additive range, we have the DPF protector. So that is the maintenance product uh, as a fuel additive that you actually put in a vehicle. And this helps to reduce the amount of soot developed in the filter itself. But now for the professional workshop, right? Because this is the ProLine review. Um, we have developed a nice DPF cleaning kit. And this kit in in entails the, the gun, a uh, cleaning solution, and also a DPF flush. So uh, it's quite simple to apply. You'll see that there's a, you have this little McGarvey here. So this is your probe. You can see there's a probe. And what you do is you'll gain access to the oxygen or pressure sensor that's located at the DPF towards the exhaust side, not towards the engine side. And uh, this is the product that you actually use in this, in a compressed air tank. And uh, you'll spray this inside the DPF. You leave the cleaner. So the first application is a cleaner. The cleaner you'll leave for approximately 10 to 15 minutes to do its action. So what it starts doing is it's a solvent in order to, uh, to break down layer by layer of the suit content that's actually in the DPF. And uh, once you're done with this, we just run the flush with, and after that, you regenerate the vehicle um, in order to completely filter out that, that, f that uh, suit accumulation in the filter itself. So, so Shali, am I correct by saying as well, because I know the first time I ever had to clean a DPF, they phoned me and they said to me, but they have a FAP system. Yeah. So I know on all your American and European cars, it's called the DPF, but when we go to the French vehicle, it's, it's FAP, called yeah. the FAP system. Yeah, yeah. So, and... What, how long would, would a cleaning like this take? 
So a, a cleaning takes maybe, uh, say, between 25 to 30 minutes. Um, so it's quite an efficient uh, solution as well. Uh, like I mentioned, it's just afterwards you have to regenerate the vehicle. So have the professional technician um, either go into the diagnostic, depending on which vehicle it is, to re regenerate on the diagnostic itself, or you should take the car for a drive at at least 120 at a, on a highway uh, distance so the exhaust temperature can heat up and actually burn off all the suit. One thing to be careful about is that uh, we have two parameters in the DPF. So we mentioned there's suit and there's ash. So the ash content is something you cannot remove because this is a deposit that comes from the oil. So make sure always, if you have these issues, you actually look at the kind of oil grade that you're using as this has to be a CRC spec. Um, just, so just be aware of that because that is ash content we reduce from the oil. And if you're not sure, we have our oil guide. It's available online and also on the Liquid Molly Advantage app to make sure because if, there's, if the vehicle has a DPF system, the oil that we would recommend would be a low ash oil to make sure that you don't have that contamination that comes from, from the oil itself. But Shadi, if I have to, so you mentioned 40,000 Rand on a normal um, uh, a polo or a, was a polo? Yeah, 1.2 TSI, TSI polo, yeah. 1.2 TSI polo. So if, um, so, so if I have to go to a dealership and actually make sure, so there's one, I know there's a lot of people that love to do every 50,000 kilometers actually clean their DPF as a prevention. Mm -hmm. And then if you do have the light coming on and it's a very high concentration of soot and it's, um, it, 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 the rejuvenation will not actually clean it, and I have to go to a dealership and actually have it cleaned, what would the cleaning normally cost? So. The, on the car performance plan, this is also highlighted as part of that, and uh, the cleaning can be anything from 2,500, depending on the, the workshop itself, on the amount of labor they actually use uh, for this. But that is the average cost uh, if you work with one of our partners um, in order to quickly clean your DPF. So I'd rather consider the 2,500 Rand solution that rather than replacing 40,000 Rand. So if you have had a problem with your DPF, um, let us know um, and we will recommend a dealership that or a workshop that's close to you that have the, the, the DPF, that have the training and they have the fluids to clean that. But also if you are a workshop and you're interested in or you've had a lot of customers that have come in with a problem with DPF, um, make sure that we that you get in contact with us so we can help you with, with a demo. So awesome. I mmm. mean, 40,000 <laughs> compared to two and a half. I mean, it's, it's a, a no-brainer. No yeah, so no. awesome. <laughs> so that's a DPF cleaner. And um, then the other thing, I mean, as the... As, uh, time changes and we have all these new technologies and direct injections and we have smaller engines and we have DPF. The other thing that also happens is some things that have been taken away from vehicles. So a lot of vehicles, and if you will actually have a brand new vehicle and you go look at the bottom, you will see that the vehicle does not have uh, underbody protection anymore. So it used to always come out with a protection layer that um, almost looked like the back of, of a bucky that has been rhino lined. Rhino-lining, yeah. Uh, ri you're li rhino lining, and you have that, um, uh, it protects it against rust, it protects it against so stone chips. But also the other thing is it actually makes sure that it keeps the sound um, a little bit s uh, uh, um, uh, isolated mm. and that you have a, a, a lot more clearer inside the vehicle and you don't hear every single noise on the outside. Red noise, yeah. So, uh, a product that we have to be able to make sure that we empower or, or, or add this value to workshops so that they can add that value to you as the consumer is our underbody protection. So this is the, the gun that it comes in. I uh, absolutely love it because y you um, don't have to, if you can just hold that to me, Shelly. Uh, so the one liter underbody is enough for a normal vehicle, bigger to a bucky or um, something that's a little bit more of an SUV, you would need two. And um, what's great about it is you don't have to, they don't have to pour it. If you're a workshop, you don't have to clean this every now and again. It actually fits into the container. That bottle just it drips into top. the layer that's at the top and you can spray um, the underbody and make it uh, look like new, protect it against rust. We actually have a guarantee that if it's a brand new vehicle, we guarantee that it won't rust for two years. And if it is a secondhand car, we have that guarantee for a year. So an application like this is anything from a thousand to two thousand rand, depending on the size of your vehicle. That's for the underbody. Um, so a really uh, 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 application that can add value to your vehicle, make it last much longer. And we all know if you have rust on your vehicle, uh, that is something that spreads like a virus. And you want to make sure that you prevent that rather than trying to fix it when the rust is already developed. So the under protection, if you're also the same, if you want uh, any inquiries on this, just give us a shout. Um, in the comment section um, of, of our Facebook page. 
So perfect melt. So just to give you a visual illustration of how this underbody looks, um, this is generally a, a mounting plate of a transmission um, from one of the buckies we have at home. Yeah, as um, you can see, well, let's zoom out. Our, our so that is generally what it looks like. In this order city, the, the corrosion is starting to build up. And uh, as a preventative measure, I would like to quote this underbody um, on, on my buck itself uh, because of the off-roading we do and the harsh, con or harsh con uh, conditions it actually goes through. But uh, if you look at the, all the new the manufacturers, all the new vehicles coming out, you'll see there's no underbody on those vehicles and uh, this is a in, a in a long term it, it will be quite costly to to actually repair that um, so we also have a, a different solution so that is a professional gun and here is the the spray can so the only difference is that the actual the texture of the fibers that you actually spray the layer thickness um, this cannot be adjusted as it's fixed but with the gun itself you can actually adjust the layer thickness depending on your uh, on the consistency that you want so uh, as you can see this is the plate as i mentioned and uh, there we have covered with underbody protection and this was only used with the spray can not the professional kit so you can see it's quite a thick layer and it's uh, it's it's quite nice to see as well. The benefit of using this is you can also paint over this. Um, so it's not fixed that it has to be black. You can also, if you're customizing a vehicle or building this ultimate off-road, um, this is a, a, a definite product I will suggest or recommend to you. So, Shale, I know there's so many people that use it on different Africa. Guys that, that actually buy new cars, not new cars, second-hand cars, and it's not been taken care mm. of, and they really want to help the customer. So that's also a recommendation that they have. Uh, dealerships that, that actually upsell their customers to be able to make sure that they can apply it for them so that they know that that car is protected against rust, stone chips. Uh, we have customers that are actually putting it on, on the back of buckets because it's really, really stunning and it's really oh. strong. So it's not that rubber texture, it's that very uh, hard. So if you have a drum or something that you have to move on the back of your bucket, you don't have that problem that's going to get stuck because the rubber actually blocks it. So really stunning, I've heard people that actually paint containers with it to mm. avoid it for being rusted, some parts of the trucks. So it's really an application that can really be used in, in many different places, but it's going to protect that surface um, on the long run. It's also one of the customers, actually, just on the topic, Mel, one of the customers from KZN, and uh, as we know, the humidity and uh, the corrosion of all the seawater um, actually corroded the, the fence, so he actually used a, a whole lot of these cans to cover his fence as well for corrosion protection. Oh, great so really, idea. really great. <laughs> so um, we've now touched on a couple of different products, and we want to go to, a, to a, a machine that every single time someone sees it in action, they are so impressed and it adds so much value to the long life of, of the engine, so of, of the vehicle. So I want to quickly show, and I have showed this before. So a lot of the vehicles are now coming out with automatic transmission systems. So people are, the preference are more on your automatic transmission than what it is on your manual. And when you do have an automatic transmission system and you have to change the oil, there is always a little bit of oil that stays behind. Now, Shelly, on, on an engine, there's certain tolerances, but what is the differences on the tolerances on a transmission system? Sure, Mel. So when it comes to automatic transmissions, they are very well engineered, um, especially in ever increasing. So way back, we started with maybe a five or six speed uh, auto box. Currently, with Mercedes-Benz, it's already a nine, nine speed transmission. So with this, with this uh, uh, ultimate engineering also comes the, the problem of the actual viscosity of the fluids, but also the, the deposits and the, the cleaning agent that you have to use in order to remove any deposits or contaminants that's left behind. Now, when it comes to transmissions as well, that we all know that these operate with torque converters. Uh, problem with that is if you just drain it by the normal sump plug, you'll uh, see that the torque converter fluid does, uh, is not removed, and uh, this is probably between four to five liters that actually remains behind. Now, if you just top it up, this is uh, oil contamination. So because we have the pr previous residues still left in your, in your new quality oil, and uh, that is no good for any, any transmission. So let's, let's illustrate this visually. So let's say this is the automatic oil, transmission yeah. fluid that is in your engine, and you're draining it to the sump plug, and all you have now is that's the amount that's in the torque converter, and it's being topped up. Brand new oil. So it doesn't matter how much I top up, I'll put that next to <laughs> show you. it is still dirty. So because now you have that dirty oil that stayed in the, con uh, in the uh, converter, and actually now that oil mixed with the new oil has that mixture of still dirty oil that is actually now moving through your transmission. So 
if I think of the transmission system, that little bit of oil that is old oil mixed with the new oil, and I mean, if it has been there for 100,000 kilometers, you probably have a, a couple of contamination actually in it, mm. and that is going to affect the life of that transmission because there are still dirt behind, mm. um, and that will affect, affect the new oil and also the tolerances and the wear that's going to happen in that transmission. So what, what alternative is there to make sure that when the transmission oil is being changed, that, that, that this doesn't happen? Perfect. So uh, Liki Mali uh, developed a machine that is called Geartronic. Um, so this is our second generation. So there was one before, and now this is, this is a more improved R&D development. Um, so if you quickly just go to the side here, I can quickly show you what this machine looks like. So this is a, a fully automated system that is uh, in order to, to clean out and flush the automatic transmissions. Um, these are not only for selected transmissions, but also DS DSG boxes. Uh, we can do CVT boxes on this. Um, there is a fully fledged uh, Licky Molly adapter selection as well. So it has been for most manufacturers, it has been developed and uh, is simple to use. So as you can see, this machine itself is fully automated. You actually select a vehicle on an on a, uh, online database. And with this, it also gives you the, the uh, transmission users, the uh, amount of newton meters, the torque you required on s specific uh, uh, adjustments of the um, bolts and nuts, uh, but also the specifications of in terms of which fluid to use. Um, so here you can see there's a hose one and hose two, and generally when doing this operation, uh, you can see the, or the, the old oil uh, being removed from the transmission and uh, being purged or pressurized throughout the torque converter and the oil cooler in order to clean out uh, all the oil circuits present in it, the transmission. This uh, operation is also quite efficient. Um, it uh, only takes uh, 45 minutes to actually do an automatic transmission uh, from start to finish. And uh, it also comes with a little test strip. So this is a, a pre-check, safety check that we do as Licky Molly uh, to see any traces of glycol or coolant within this transmission. Uh, also indication uh, for if there's already premature failure on this transmission or not. Wow, so, so now there's a solution with a machine that actually can clean out every single flush out all the old oil it monitors that i know as well it comes with a little printout yes that actually tells you the amount of liter that it has taken out the amount of liter that's gone in the oil that's been used because it specifies it on the system gets updated regularly to be able to make sure that that's synced with the international oil guide and so, so shelly if you look at this machine and, and just the illustration we have now what is all the long-term advantages of, of doing a transmission change with the geartronic instead of just draining, opening the, 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 the drain plug and um, uh, topping up the oil afterwards? Ultimately, um, l as we explained, is the wear particles within this transmission. Um, those increase, as tolerance well increase as well. So it is abrasive uh, solution actually going around in a transmission. Now, to offer a service that can purely clean the oil cooler um, and the transmission, this is one solution was already provided for you. Uh, because it actually have a, has a cleaning additive tank on the side that uh, introduces this cleaning agent inside the circulation of a transmission and once you're done it purges, removes all that oil and uh, you can easily remove the oil pan, change the filters, put it back, put new fresh oil and uh, remove all the oil from torque converter, oil cooler and transmission. Um, so in long term, Mal, if I have to ask you a question, the lifespan of this is really, really increased. Um, because I know on ZF boxes we're looking at 80 to 120,000 that it should be uh, removed or changed. And uh, this is the most professional, uh, uh, up to date research and development product that we have in our range in order to provide a solution for our viewers and the uh, workshops. So I've had a lot of people that told me that they bought vehicles and uh, the gears are sticky or that they are slipping and they have huge amount of problems and then they actually go through a, a, a geartronic cleaning and the result afterwards is the problem is totally gone. It feels like a brand new transmission that's been put in the vehicle. Just because it has that, because the same as what you have with engine oil with the flushing, mm. now you have a system that actually works and flushes all those stickiness and the old oil, drains every single thing, calculates it, and then inserts the, the correct the amount of oil and the oil that is rec um, uh, the, the right suggestion for the OEM into the vehicle without you having to measure and having collaborate, a, uh, collaborate <laughs> um, not knowing what is the right oil, not sure of what you've removed and whatnot. So one machine to make all of those things so much easier. So if you want your transmission being uh, cleaned uh, or you want your oil to be, uh, to, be, to be changed and you want to make sure it's professionally done, uh, find out w uh, the partners we have that have the, the Geartronic and if you're interested in, in a demo, 
um, that's what we love speak doing. Speak to us. We can have, we can assist you with that. <laughs> yeah. So it's just an, an opportunity to be able to show you how the Geotronic actually works, so that you can see it in action. And you can actually see the result with the old oil, the new oil, the change, and actually feeling how the gear change is afterwards, so that you can see the impact of the results of this machine. So awesome. I absolutely love this machine. I mean, the previous generation was not as automated as what it is now. Now it is, for a workshop, very simple. It says stand, it says sit, it says <laughs> lift your arm, it says put it down, it says smile, the camera is watching. So it's very, very easy to follow the steps on how to use this machine. But um, the result or the, the, the value that it adds to the consumer in their vehicle and their transmission, and the transmission is not something that's cheap. I mean, we spoke about the DPF cost if you have to replace that. Yeah. If we look at a transmission, totally Twice, different three times story. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I must be honest, Mel, uh, with regard to this machine, one of the things I really, really like is uh, it has two separate tanks, so no, no oil is being contaminated, but also the actual pr the, the slip it prints uh, that you can attach to a job card would actually say that how much oil was removed from transmission and how much to put back. Uh, now that is also a good safety check you can do uh, to ensure that there was no oil starvation previously, just to make sure that you didn't have any issues with lack of oil. No, awesome, because if you know your car is supposed to take eight liters, it only took out seven, seven and you placed. So it's also a nice for the consumer to know I have a little slip that I received so that I can actually know that they use seven or eight or nine or 10 liters of whatever oil. Mm. So awesome, all of those things made it easy and in a professional way, taking care of your transmission. Yeah, perfect. So uh, I know there's one more product that uh, you want to boast about a bit, Mel. This is a new development from Likimolia as well. Yeah, if we say new development, it's actually new development of packaging. <laughs> 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 so the climate phrase, I mean, uh, we've had so many different names. It's climate fresh, it's klima fresh, Klima-fresh, it's climate fresh. Uh, you can call it whatever, tomato, tomato, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> that's, we're not going to, it's liquid molly, liquid molly, yeah, liquid no, that, molly. That's, that's a no-go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't like the liquid molly in, in liquid molly at all. But um, <laughs> as long as, as you know the benefits and um, you know about the product and the value it can add to you. So the climate fresh, I mean, there's a big focus now on cleaning and hygiene. And we have mentioned this product in the pre one of the previous Mali and Shelly. But in a pro-line condition, I mean, you have summer is, we have one month of winter left and then spring, and then you have a lot more um, use of your aircon. Uh, it would have been on warm heat and that already affects the pollen filter. You're already, when you're going to change it to cool, you're going to smell it. Woo! Um, yeah. Something is yeah. not so fresh. Something's dying in a car. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I mean, a lot of the times you actually, if you look at the aircon at your house, but you also look at the aircon in your vehicle, uh, that smell tells you that there's a bacteria because it's the bacteria that leaves that smell. If the bacteria is there, the chances that you can get sick is very, very high because you're inhaling that air the whole time. It's not that you can inhale anything else unless you drive with an open window. So to make sure that that entire aircon system is properly cleaned, we have the climber fresh that you can actually that you use that's a fogger that disinfects and cleans the entire car but also cleans the aircon system all the way to the pollen filter and actually leaves a protection layer on the pollen filter to be able to make sure that a bacteria does not generate or develop on it again and this new climber fresh of ours comes in uh, the previous packaging uh, had a, a, a way that you could direct it to the intake of the air but the new packaging, so we were playing with it a little bit <laughs> earlier, is really simple to use. You tear off the top side and then actually just make sure that all the sides are not touching each other and you push the side down and you have this little rocket. This is like SpaceX rocket. <laughs> and yeah, SpaceX <laughs> in your car that you just activate and you let the car idle for 10 minutes and it is going to make sure that it's absorbed and taken into all the little piping systems and in your vehicle so it can clean, uh, uh, kill the bacteria and leaves a very, very nice fresh Fragrance smell yeah, sure. afterwards. So it's really it's a, such a pleasant experience. But what's now great is if you have a workshop, someone comes in, they have a problem with their aircon. Now you can also take care of that. If you're a customer and you're going to a workshop, Ask them if they do have the liquid molly climber fresh because you know you don't have to find someone that's going to clean your air con or have to be stuck with that smell or the bacteria that you know that can, might make you and, and, and your family sick. You can actually have that included as part of your service without having to drive from one dealership or one service um, supplier to the, to the next. Easy to use. I also love using this product um, at home with my aircon because that also becomes smelly. You don't want to bring someone the whole time you have your average servicing of your aircon. 
but also I mean you don't want someone every single month to be able to come and s just make it smell better so now you can also make sure that you kill the bacteria and that you have that smell in the room that is going to make sure that it uh, uh, kills the bacteria that might be um, uh, starting to develop in that in that filter so an awesome product an awesome uh, service to add it's always great to go and pick up your vehicle yes. at, a, at a dealership and it smells so fresh, amazing yeah. I don't like the smell of potpourri and lavender <laughs> and all those things and this almost has a brand new car smell it's it's really fresh and um, a, a smell that you would really appreciate if you have to pick up your car and that's the way it smells so that is it for our pro line range um, as I said, we have quite a lot of other products in the range, but what our focus is, and we've had a lot of inquiries of people to say, when are you going to focus on the, on the throttle valve cleaner, and the air intake system cleaner, and the jet cleaner, and the Geartronic, and we have a lot of our partners with their retail stores, and they service and take care of workshops, and we have a lot of our clients that phone us and say, okay, what workshop can I go to to make sure that they can clean my throttle body or they can, that I can have a jet clean cleaning or a Geartronic to, to change my automatic transmission fluid. So we have the information of all that. So we wanted to make sure that you as a consumer, you as a, as a retailer, you as a workshop can know the product range and the value that can add to you and to make sure that your vehicle lasts much longer, um, you have a lot of problems that you don't always know how to solve, but know that in our ProLine range, if there's a problem that, um, uh, that occurs, normally in some form or way, or there will be one of the products in the Liquid Molly range that will be able to solve that issue. Yeah, so as Mal mentioned, there's a, there's a lot of opportunities for you to actually uh, assist the customers, as most of these products are developed for uh, uh, problem solutions, so, so, so solving problems uh, in the long run, uh, but not, not only in a sort of short run. So. Uh, uh, Mel, one question I have before we go is uh, we are sharing a lot of content on our social media and uh, especially on the DIY page. Um, I know there's also an update of one of the new problem solvers, how to lick Molly easy product use, um, which you can actually view on a DIY group as well. Uh, just for you as a workshop to also get an indication of how easy it is to use the products and especially where to apply them. Uh, because, as I mentioned, we have a range of 4,000 products and sometimes it can be overwhelming even for me. Uh, so go have a look at that and it's a quite easy way to see exactly where I can apply it. And uh, it's so easy to get in contact with us as well if you need any technical support or maybe a demo on one of these wonderful machines that uh, we've just introduced for you today. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh so our aim is to make sure that we add value and we want to make sure that all of your your your... your vehicle and all the equipment that you love can last so please never hesitate to get in contact with us if there's something that you're not sure of or you want to be directed to one of our partners where to buy a product where to get a specific service we are there for you because it is your results that creates passion and if you didn't have the results we wouldn't have the passion and uh, we absolutely love adding value in serving you so if there's anything else, comments, things that you'd like us to cover on the Melly and Shelly and unpack or maybe feel that it's a little bit difficult and you don't understand it, please let us know. So we'll bring that into the, the, the show so we can make sure and make it easier for you to understand and to also know how it could add value to your um, equipment and to your business in whatever form or way. We thank everybody. We did have that um, competition um, to say the retail store with the highest amount of people with their comments. Um, if you also want to find out some more information, as what Shelley said on the DIY page, please make sure that you go and uh, uh, be part of the group. It is a group that a lot of these aspects and questions and detail is covered as well. Um, and it's not from us, it's from people actually showing you, like Arnold and them with the speed tech, or uh, adding how to add oil and how, what does the, the molly gen look like. And I think that's always great because now it comes from people that are actually passionate ab about the product, but also they are the ones that are physically working with the products every single day. And it's always great for us as well mm -hmm. when everybody shares the videos and the results that they're having. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being part of the Liquid Molly family. And um, like always, we'll have, um, we're always, we're, like always, there will be uh, people that will make sure that you're looked after. The Liquid Molly Dream Team is what we call them. Um, every single one of us are there to be able to make sure we support and we help you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. And we'll see you in two weeks time. Thanks, guys. Keep well.